god, that was so creepy. Oh, that was so seriously creepy. <laughs> It's Liam Mouse Vlog, Liam Mouse Vlog, it's Liam Mouse's Vlog. <laughs> I don't think this is gonna work. <laughs> I have faith in your knife, I don't have faith in mine. <laughs> Pumpkin guts. Yours is like so perfect. <laughs> Oh, that looks so wicked so far. Holy shit. You are good at this. <laughs> Meanwhile, I just popped out one piece of my silhouette hair and uh, as far as I am. Thank you. <laughs> Houdini wants to be part of this. Yes, you do. I know. You're very excited and sad and upset that we took over your, your bed. And you can guard the cookies. That can be your job, okay? <laughs> All right, let's see. See the reveal. <laughs> Holy shit! Get the fuck out of here! Get out of here! <laughs> you are awesome! Holy crap! Mine's all lame and Sherlock Holmesy. Yeah, that's not too bad. Bad. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> yeah. It looks like it's had better days, but. That's yeah, tough to do when it's, it, it's not yeah, it's heavy. It's like super yeah. heavy. Okay, you rock. Let's see what they look like. Put up. <laughs> oh my god, honey! <laughs> That's so cool. Okay, I'm actually really proud of that. <laughs> Dude, that's sweet. <laughs> Out of the way! Yeah, I, I mean, it looked simple enough, and then when I started sketching it, I was like, uh huh, no. Yeah. There was not enough room for his giant forehead and his hair, and I'm like, yeah. Because you and I sketch things bigger. Right. So it took up too much space. I totally feel like a murderer right now. Just stabbing. <laughs> Pumpkins number twos. Pumpkins number twos, I can speak English. Great. <laughs> Pumpkins number twos, as I said. That looks really cool, babe. Mm. So this time I did the face and he did the silhouette. <laughs> do you have fun? Yes, I, do. I did too. Go out and look at our pumpkins outside on the stoop. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I care what anybody says, our house is the coolest. <laughs> so this is a hoot and a half. Okay, so I needed new candle wick, right? Wick for the candles. Candle wick. Because the other one I got... It says it's the right size. It says it's the right size for what I need. It should be, it's a lot of wick, but I looked at it and I'm like, this looks a little bit too thin for what I'm used to and for what I need. And lo and behold, a few people have been emailing me saying that there was problems with the burn in the candles because the wick's too small. Uh, they didn't know that it was because the wick's too small, but I know it's because the wick's too small. And I'm just like, well, shit. So I had to order more. I ordered a whole new spool from my supplier, supposed to arrive with my box of candle wax. Two packages, one shipment. The wax arrived on Friday, the wick did not. 
I'm like, okay. And they work over the weekend, FedEx. It came FedEx. So I waited Saturday, it didn't show up. I'm like, okay. I waited Sunday, it didn't show up. And I was like, okay, well, I gotta make stuff. I gotta get going here. So I filed a claim with FedEx and waited. Today is Monday, Monday morning, woke up with JJ, got in the car, went to Hobby Lobby. I literally, they had to unlock the doors for me. I was there right when they opened up just so I could get the candle wick that I know will work. So I get there. They unlock the door, I'm the first customer, I'm the only customer, they're still having their little manager meeting in the front or whatever, and someone had to break away just to cash me out. And I even told JJ before I left, I said, if I leave to go get this wick, and that stupid wick actually gets delivered while I'm out, I'm gonna be so mad. Get my wick, come home, I was gone like half an hour, I come home, to the freaking wick I ordered sitting in front of the door. Not like this, it was obviously in the package box. But I was like, are you freaking kidding me? I, like, I totally called it. I knew that was gonna happen. But of course, as we all know how the world works, had I not done that, had I not gone out and bought the wick, it wouldn't have shown up somehow because that's the way the world works. But I freaking called it. I knew that was gonna happen in the little half an hour window at nine, between nine and nine thirty in the morning that I was out buying new wick. That's when it got delivered. At least I have a piss ton of wick now. <laughs> a lot because this one spool is gonna last me like a year. So uh, anyway, so apologies if any of you guys had problems with the candle burn because of the wick. Um, I can't possibly refund and replace all of those because uh, I'm sure there were a lot and I'm really sorry about that. Um, but it won't happen again now because I got the right wick and I'm never ordering that other one again even though it is technically the correct size. I don't know if they mislabeled it or what but anyway so I am sorry about that but now we have the proper wick twice fold <laughs> so it won't be a problem again ever. Uh, so I gotta get to work. I have a crap ton of candles to make. I got three cases of 24 jars here that all need to be made into candles today. And they'll be going out uh, hopefully tomorrow if I can get my button gear because I have nearly a hundred of these bitches to make. This isn't even all of them. I still have to print out some labels and fix them and stuff, but I got as ahead as I possibly could. Watson is demonstrating how she helps me on a daily basis. She's the supervisor. She's got the key. She's the key holder. So I'm gonna make my breakfast and wolf it down real quick and get to work on these candles for you guys so you can have them. Please order Halloween candles like right now if you want them because uh, I have to make them and ship them and everything if you want them by Halloween. Um, I would say the cutoff day is, well, the day that this vlog goes up, whenever that is. Give me at least five days before Halloween, so I guess the 25th. But of course you can order spooky candles year round, doesn't matter, it doesn't have to be Halloween because we all love the spookiness all year round. That's the beauty of being us, right? And that's the beauty of my shop is that you can have spooky stuff year round because October just isn't long enough. I don't think it is. So anyway, I'm gonna get to work on this and yeah. Blah, blah. So many candles, oh my God. So many candles to make for you guys. Why do I always feel the need to sing a stupid little song when I'm doing things? I can't sing, I suck at singing, the lyrics aren't good, my voice isn't good, I don't know what my problem is. I'm a freaking weirdo and I actually get to sit down for two seconds. <sighs> it's hot in here, I, I mean it's like 20 degrees outside but I have the window open because I'm sweating. Hmm. So if you want to order some, do it now, trust me. And I have a clearance section now too for ones that I'm discontinuing because I am. Check out the clearance section, it's on both my shops. This is exhausting. It's exhausting. So many. There's just, just, there's just, there's just so many. It's nice though. I enjoy it. And boy, does it smell good in here. Right, Watson? She's been bugging me all day. Oh dear. <laughs> so, first of all, it's the 20th of October. October? And we have last minute decided to have a Halloween party. <laughs> which is never how that should go. Um, the thing of it was, like back in June when we had our barbecue or whatever here, I was like, oh, I wanna have a Halloween party this year because we have a house and it would be fun. And we were kinda gonna do it there for a little bit and then 
JJ was like, oh, I don't think we'll be able to because, you know, we're so busy and like I work so much and everything. And I just don't think that we'll have time to plan it, pull it off, whatever. And then the other night he got in touch with one of his friends or one of his friends got in touch with him, I don't know, that he hasn't seen in a long time and he was supposed to come over for jam night. <laughs> but then he ended up not being able to. Um, so I guess he texted him and he was like, yeah, well, he's like me and my brother wanna come over for a hangout night and uh, they picked uh, Friday, the Friday before Halloween. So JJ moved a shift around. Uh, they were like, okay, we're gonna have these couple of guys over Friday night. And then when we went to pool last night, um, he invited his friend Bass. He was like, hey, we're having a, you know, a guy's hangout night on Friday and you know, come over. He's like, okay. So I was fully planning on it being a dude's night. I was gonna order myself some pizza, go upstairs, watch a couple movies with Scrappy while the guys did whatever, right? And then while we were at pool, we met uh, a couple of the dudes on the opposing team who were super cool that we never met before. And they said that they really wanted to learn and get better at pool. And JJ was like, oh yeah, I have a pool table, you know, come over, I'll teach you some stuff, hang out. And it sounded like a really good time. And one of them has a pool table as well. So we're like, oh, we could come over there too, whatever. And uh, the one guy got really excited and he looked at me, he's like, oh, I have a fiance that, you know, you, you guys, you know, you guys would love each other. Like you would love her and blah, blah, blah. So I was like, okay, well shit, bring her over too. And then JJ was like, oh, well, we're having a thing on Friday. Why don't you all come over and bring your fiance? And so they were like, okay, sweet. So we added two more dudes plus a fiance to the mix. One of them or someone else, I don't remember, texted JJ back and asked if it was a costume party because it's the night before Halloween. And then he was like, should we make it a costume party? And I was like, yeah, that would be awesome. Uh, so then he started texting like everybody he knows and he was like, hey, we're having this costume party. So, it, and then he was like, well, I guess we're having a Halloween party after all. So we have to mad scramble to kind of get stuff figured out and get whatever decorations are not picked over at this point. Um, I'm, I still have some stuff left over, I'm sure. Oh my gosh, Houdini is just like, just loving all over my hand on the camera. It's not gonna be the Halloween party of my dreams because I had these grandiose ideas of what my first adult Halloween party throwing experience would be. And this is basically just gonna be people coming over to drink while wearing costumes. That's kind of not my scene, but we're, we're gonna make it cool. We're gonna put up some stuff. I'll be the sober one <laughs> but it'll be cool because we got our halloween costumes um ours arrived in the last couple days and i'm gonna have to get some spanx for mine uh, <laughs> i never thought i'd say that but yeah i need spanx to fit into this thing uh you'll see you'll see um either that or i need to stop eating until halloween <laughs> i'll just go the spanx route so we're gonna try to throw this thing together at the last minute Oh, and Houdini's gonna help, yes. She said, it's okay, mama, I will help. <laughs> we got Scrappy a Halloween costume. Wait till you guys see it. Oh my gosh, <laughs> he's gonna look so cute. <laughs> you guys will never guess what it is either. You'll never guess what it is. Another thing about today, which is interesting, as being October 20th. It's not December 20th. It's not January 20th. It's October 20th, but we are in good old North Dakota, and we've got snow. Yeah, it's it's snowing. So on that note, I gotta figure out all this Halloween stuff now, and I gotta put the swirls on all these bad boys and get them packaged up and sent out to their rightful owners. If you wanna buy some, you gotta do it now. If you, if you want them in time for Halloween, that is. I gotta get Oh my gosh, our leaf pile. <laughs> we raked our leaves up onto the edge of the street because the leaf people come by, the city comes by and collects all of them. Well, that's a snow-covered leaf monster now. Yep. Snow-covered leaf monster right there. Oh well. <laughs> it's the city's problem now. <laughs> Got this new ghost app. Let's see if there's any ghosts here. Walk around slowly to detect supernatural entities. Okay. Oh! Oh, that's just you, okay. <laughs> I don't know, Watson, what do you think?
don't see any ghosts. I see a Watson. This thing looks kind of cool. Just the graininess and like the sort of night vision thing to it. Watson says, come upstairs with me. Oh. There's a signal acquired. Okay. Oh, cool. It like makes sound and stuff. Ghost doesn't like ginger. He's chopping ginger downstairs. Ghost signal acquired. Okay. <laughs> Apparently, we have a ghost haunting our staircase, babe. <laughs> what the hell? Oh, is that a reflection? Jesus, that scared the hell out of me. <laughs> I saw it through the camera. Signal lost. Yeah, it's like right here. Just this little tiny area here. It knows. It knows. All right, let's try the basement. I wouldn't think that this would be a very haunted house anyway. It's kind of newish and stuff. Music room. Oh. Ghost signal acquired. No, 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 this room is completely dark. I can't let that happen. Ask a question. What is your name? <laughs> this is kind of cool. Receiving response. Oh my god. What? Translating. Bert's the name. <laughs> okay, Bert. Transmitting. Are you good or evil is what I asked. Receiving response. Okay, that's not a reflection, guys. Translating. Do you see that? Oh my, f oh my god. 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 Just a good man. It says, okay, okay, I'm, I'm, okay. I realize that this is an app just for entertainment, but I'm getting the F out of here. Bye, Bert. <laughs> Haunting our music room. I saw him. <laughs> it's scary. <laughs> oh my god, that was so creepy. <laughs> oh, that was so seriously creepy. <laughs> <sighs> I realize it's just for entertainment, but oh my god, I know I'm I'm kind of scared of the music room now. <laughs> mm -hmm. A bubbling cauldron of rice, huh? I'm gonna go look at our pumpkins. Yeah, friggin' snow. So these are our pumpkins. They kinda got a little bit frozen. Silhouettes are a little bendy backwards, but I moved them like out of the snow and just lit them up and they look nice, I think. They still look pretty decent, especially the scary faces. There we go, now we can actually see that they are in fact pumpkins. There's Houdini. That's nice. Hi, Scampy. <laughs> Where are you going? Are you scared of Bert, too? <laughs> Come on. Come on, Scampy. Come in. <laughs> Maybe that's why Houdini's always wanting to go in the music room. She made friends with the ghost. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, Houdini likes to be you know, nice. Well, that's true. He did say he was a good person, which was nice. <laughs> so, we had a good time shopping. We got some stuff. I think it'll be all right. Then we watched Nightmare Before Christmas, and JJ had never seen it, which is weird. So we watched that, and that was a good time. And then we watched The Crow, which I've never seen, which is also very weird, uh, which was also all right. And then we watched The Haunted Mansion, you know, Disney, Eddie Murphy, all that. So we got in a little spooky mood. I mean, bless you, bless you, Scrappy. And uh, we got some stuff, right Watson? 
So we got some stuff to decorate and it should be a good time and I'm looking forward to it. <sighs> and now I've got stuff to do, so okay, bye.